Hey everybody, it's Jess, and we are at yet another different location. Uh, this time it's not my house. I'm at my boyfriend's house that I'm using his bathroom because the puppy was being wild today. I couldn't get my filming in and I lost the footage for this. Last week, I think I filmed this. And, um... Yeah, so I'm just gonna refilm it today and edit and upload it, hopefully before tomorrow. <laughs> so I have two palettes here. This one is the original Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette, the real one from Sephora. And a little slip still in it, and that's what it looks like. Very beautiful palette. Um, I've used it quite a few times now, not that you would know by looking at it, but I found this um, <laughs> fake one for much, much cheaper, and it came in a set, so I do have the other two, the rose gold palette, <clears throat> excuse me, and the new nudes, uh, but because I only have the real Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette, I figured I'd do this. Uh, so this is what it looks like inside. It has the same little slip with the eyes on it, and it looks very similar. I'm just going to open up the other one to compare. But um, I'm going to do one eye with the real palette and one eye with the fake palette, and they look extremely similar. So up top is the real palette, and down below is the fake and like super, super, super similar. So I want to know, I want to know how good it's gonna be and hopefully, well, I'm gonna go in with Desert Sand and we're just gonna dust that over to set that base a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with the original palette, and I'm pretty sure I have another V5 brush in here. If not, I have something similar that I will use, just because I don't want to use the same brush. Okay, so I guess I don't have another V5 in here like I thought I did. Maybe it's in my other makeup bag. Let me take a look and peek in here first to make sure that I know. The V13 instead. It's similar, it's just a little bit smaller, but we'll dip into the real palette and we'll just buff that over. This is very light, um, so you're not going to see too much color with these ones, but I'm just putting it down on the base so it's not too sticky. Put that on this side. Uh, and then I am going to go in with. Uh, so this is the Lexi 243 Precision Blending Brush. I got this in my Ipsy bag the other day. If you haven't watched that video, go to my channel and check it out to see what I got in my bag. Uh, and I'm just going to dip into the shade Musk and we're going to use that as our transition shade. I love Lexi brushes, but they're just too expensive for me to justify buying myself. So I love when I get them in my Ipsy bags. This one isn't my favorite so far, just because it's so small. I'm used to like a fluffier brand blending brush. But, I mean, it fits my crease really nice, so I could see placing a shadow with this one, and then maybe taking a fluffier one and blending it out. Okay, and then on the fake side, we will do the same thing with the same brush. There's no pigment left in it. I'll just go like this for you guys. There's nothing left on the brush. Uh, so we'll dip into musk in the fake one. So far, like there's no, like it's not like this one has more kick up or anything like that. It's performing pretty much the same. Hmm. 
Hmm. It might be like needs more work to build up that pigment, but that's not the worst thing in the world if you can get it there. But so far it's not that bad. Um, I'm going to go back in with the first brush I used, which is the V5 for this side, and we're going to go into the shade Oat, which is this one right here. So, so far we've used these first two on this side, and then this one. And I'm not doing like a crazy eyeshadow look just because I really don't have anything to do today. So I'm just doing a nice little easy eye. That's actually blending super easy and I really like the way that color is looking. Okay. Not bad at all. We'll do the same thing on the other eye with the original palette. I think that the mirrors are different sizes in these palettes. I don't know, something's just off with the sizing of that one. And then we will dip into Ode on this side with our, what number is this? V13. We'll do the same thing. See, uh, I feel like they're different colors because this one's a little more of a deep brown. And that was a little more burgundy than this one. But there is something I can do to kind of remedy that. I'm going to dip into saffron in this palette just so that we end up looking similar. And we'll just blend that into that brown just to make it a look more like the other side so that we're still even because I don't know what I'm doing tonight. So if I do anything, I want to look like I am put together pretty well. And I think I'm going to have to do a little bit of saffron on the other side just so that they're balanced just because this one is looking a little bit darker than this side. So we will do that really quickly. We'll dip into saffron. I'm going to dip in between both of those shades just to see if I can't get it to be a bit darker. Mm -hmm. It's still like definitely different. Oh, I'm doing really weird bumps in my hand. Yeah, no, they're not, they're not the same colors at all. But it's not bad, like it's still a good palette, like for the price especially. Um, I'm just going to go back in with my base and go over right in here. I'm not cutting the crease, I'm just putting it on so that the glitter sh or shimmer shade that I choose to use is going to stick well. Because I forgot to bring a glitter glue. I feel like sometimes I just need two of everything because I am the most forgetful person on planet Earth, I think. I guess we are kind of doing a half cut crease, but nothing wrong with that. And now before I do that on the other side, I'm just going to grab, pulled it out here. I'm just going to grab my camouflage number eight. It's a number 916 brush. And I think I'm going to do... Hmm. 
I'm gonna do a mix between Turkish Delight and Royal. I feel like this is gonna be where the like one of the biggest differences is because they're definitely different textures. Okay, now on the other side, I'm gonna grab the real palette up here and we will do the same thing. We'll grab that base and kind of cut the crease a uh, halfway before we put the shimmer shade on. And I'm more so patting this on than swiping it just because I don't want to get any of that pigment on my brush. I just want to get it on the lid. I don't want to pull any of my shadow off. And then I'll swipe to smooth out my line. Perfect. Then we're going to use the same brush as the other eye. And we're gonna dip into Turkish Delight and do that a little more concentrated on the inner corner. And then we dip into Royal. I feel like they definitely look like different palettes were used. The colors are definitely not the same, um, but I don't think either of them look bad. I'm just going to take this. It's technically a lip brush, but I'm just going to use it to apply my inner corner color. And I think I'm going to use cashmere. So we'll go in on this eye with the real palette first and we'll just that on the inner corner and then we'll go in with the other palette and this looks like a completely different color <laughs> that we're still gonna go in with cashmere and we will just put that on the inner corner okay when you put it on it doesn't look that much different but in the palette it looks like a whole different color. Okay, I'm gonna put some mascara on. This is another item that I got from my Ipsy Big. It's the what brand is this again? Ico London Mascara. <laughs> oh, excuse me. At least I did that before I put my mascara on. Oh, I'm just gonna put this on. For the eyes, I'm not gonna be 
too finicky. I'm not doing eyeliner or anything like that. Just because, like I said, I'm not really doing anything tonight. So I don't want to use a whole bunch of makeup just to take it off and for nobody to see it. Because, you know, that whole thing. So I'm going to go ahead and put some foundation and powder and all that off camera. And then I will come back with my, my final thoughts are, are they exactly the same? No. Are they pretty close to the same? Yes. Is it worth buying the dupe if you can't afford the original one? Which I didn't even buy this original one. I was gifted it for Christmas because I'm very lucky to have um, some wonderful family that know how much I enjoy all things makeup. So they will buy me makeup things and I appreciate them so, so much. Um, but I think it is a good palette. Um, Hopefully I can find the website because I think they had some Natasha, uh, blah, 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 blah. Natasha Denona palettes and I would love one but I do not want to spend one to two hundred dollars on an eyeshadow palette but then I also do because I'm like one to two hundred dollars for an eyeshadow palette it's gotta be good but anyways maybe I will maybe I won't but hopefully I can find this website so that you guys can check it out if you're interested in that sort of a thing um you will definitely save some money on some good palettes like they're not bad at all i would definitely buy more and i would definitely use them again and hopefully um the other two palettes that came in this bundle are as good as this one if you guys would like to see how those other two palettes perform i don't have any i don't have the originals to compare them to but just let me know in the comments down below and i will definitely do that for you uh, to see if they are as good as this one or if this one is just um just like a hidden gem anyways that's all for today's video thank you guys so much for joining me today be sure and subscribe and hit the notification bell i will notify oh i upload every friday usually i sometimes upload twice a week so if you hit the notification bell you'll be sh def well Hopefully you'll be definitely notified when I upload. Um, and if you subscribe, once we hit the 1,000 subscribers, I will be doing a huge giveaway. I've collected quite a few items already. Um, a few of the Jeffree Star Cosmetics, uh, some hems, a brush set. And once I get the, to 1,000 subscribers, we will be doing the giveaway and who knows how much more product we will have by then. So please, please, please subscribe and join the little family. We will be so happy to have you. And thank you so much for watching my video. Give it a thumbs up if you like this one and comment down below if you have an idea for a video that you want to see because that's basically what I'm doing here is all the things I wanted to see on YouTube being put on YouTube by me. So if I can help you put something you want to see on YouTube by me, I'd love to do that. So thank you so much for your love and support. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.